Hey folks, Brian Blessing, glad to be with you here in Las Vegas for ATS.io. Getting ready for the Sweet 16, don't forget Adam Burke. He's got the great information daily for you with his outstanding podcast. We want to dive into the Saturday games. Let's go to Villanova against Baylor. The Bears are six and a half, seven point favorites. Total on the game here is 141. In terms of the Big 12, Baylor at least has held up their end of the bargain. Uh, they've looked pretty stout and solid and a solid number one seed. Now Villanova, obviously they had the injury with Gillespie, but Villanova and Jay Wright, this guy knows what he's doing in the tournament. The bottom line is, can they find a way to press the one seed here? Bottom line is, from a tempo perspective, I think this is a game that could exceed the total of 141, and heading into the weekend, I think that total could go up just a touch. Now, interesting. Oral Roberts against Arkansas. Arkansas is an 11.5 point favorite. Total on the game is 159. This is a rematch of a game that was played earlier in the year. And Arkansas you know, won this game uh, 87 to 76. Oral Roberts comes off a win against Ohio State. Then the game against Florida, they were down. Florida, in many respects, beat themselves. They had pace, they had the better athletes, and all of a sudden they were starting to run away with it, and they started to pull it out and go late on the possession clock, and it got themselves in trouble. To Oral Roberts' credit, they know how to win the close games. It's a great story. Arkansas, the SEC, has been pretty solid in this tournament. Razorbacks, 11.5 point favorites. That number could be just a little bit on the juicy side, but what we have seen here, the deeper you get into tournaments, the, the Cinderella's start to wane and fade and wear down. But the good news is, is starting out on the Sweet 16 and that a little extra rest, Oral Roberts maybe a chance to cover that number. This is really compelling. Oregon State and Loyola of Chicago. Loyola's laying seven in this spot. Uh, Porter Moser, the job, job this guy's doing is outlandishly good. And Krautwig, the big man who can run the offense from the foul line extended, he's an incredible passer, smart, heady, knows what he's doing. This Loyola offense is so efficient. Virtually every possession matters. The one thing I would say is Oregon State, the Pac-12 has been a monster. Oregon State kind of gave us the tipping point of this. They beat Oregon in the Pac-12 uh, tournament. They have rolled in this event. They are playing at an incredibly high level, and they've got momentum. Really like Loyola of Chicago, but think the number's a little on the high side. And then Syracuse and Houston, 11 seed against the two. Houston, a six-point favorite. Total on the game is 140 and a half. Bayheim's kid is just lighting it up. Really smart, heady player. Phenomenal basketball player. Houston, it looks like they run a little hot and cold to me. But there's tons of talent on display. The one thing you get, that 2-3 matchup zone for Syracuse, when teams go against it, they really struggle. I think maybe the way you go here is take Syracuse and the points in the first half until Houston maybe figures it out, and then they make a push in the second half. Pretty compelling Saturday of Sweet 16 action. Glad to discuss it with you right here at ATS.io. I'm Brian Blessing in Las Vegas.